Okay, this is uh, Jeff W6FCC and Rich WZ2D. We're running a test on his radios in New York. I'm in California, so I'm using RSBA1 remotely. So here we are in the remote utility. You can see that Rich is connected to uh, his radio, and uh, I'm connected, but it, and he can probably see my uh, call sign on his uh, W6FCC 3.75 radio in the radio list, right, Rich? Yeah, you see, you see that I'm connected. Yeah, okay. So now, one of the things that if you want to record a QSO and play it back, there's two buttons down here called AF and Mod. Now I've I've brought up both of them on my screen, and the uh, Mod button is I'm showing here at the top, and the results of the AF I'm showing down here at the bottom. Uh, by the way, one of the standard mistakes is to not have this in mod select mic when you want to use the microphone and if you leave it in file after you're done with some of these tests you won't be able to transmit the audio from your microphone and then down here this is a recording uh, folder that I used once before so what I want to do is I want to I want to this is on a separate drive I want to create a folder for today and that would be December 15th uh, 2016 2019 so I'm going to grab this uh, this file area right now. I'm going to go over to my computer, I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to paste that address right here. And so here's some stuff for the other day, but I'll back up one level, and uh, I'm going to create a new directory called 20191215. I'm going to enter it, and I'm going to grab this address right here. Control C, and I'm done uh, adding another directory. Then down here, I'm going to say that the folder I want to use is that folder for recording. So uh, I'm ready to record. And then when I want to play back audio, I'll be using this same folder. So it's a good idea to uh, to copy that into the clipboard. Okay, Rich. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect with RSBA1 now. So the radio that uh, I'm connected to over here, and you do have to be connected to it on the remote utility. So it's a 7300, that's the model, the connection's USB. Uh, the radio that I want to use right now is this radio. And I can check to make sure that the COM port is correct, the baud rate's correct, the 7D, and that's the CIV address he uses, ICOM V audio blah 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 so now we go ahead and I'm going to now connect to that radio TBW has to be on wide well that's yeah we're getting there okay so now I have uh, there's some noise on this frequency so let me turn the volume down a little bit and I want to turn the volume I want to turn the RF power all the way to zero for this test you're on all the way to zero right yes what's the frequency okay I'm on uh, well, let's make sure there's nobody else on here. Should I? I'll come up to 40 meters. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna because the uh, the 80 meter dipole ought to resonate a little bit on 40, but we're not going to be putting out much power. So I'm on 7.290.5. 7.2. So you just what Rich will do on his keyboard is just type in 7.2905. I can do the same thing here. I just start typing 7.2905 and hit enter and there I am. And in order to remember that, why don't I go over here to this memory thing and I'm going to add I've already got too many uh, too many things in my first main memory. I'll come down here and just put nets and I'll hit insert a couple times and I'm going to hit the MW and this is uh, testing testing with Rich. So if I get off frequency for some reason by bumping something, which is easy to do, like all, all of a sudden I end up here, I can just go back to the memory channel indicator, click on that one I created, and I'm back to 7.290.5. Good use for the memory channel indicator. Okay, so... 7.290.5, okay. yes. You got it? Okay, next thing is, by the way, we want to make sure that under this remote, I'm going to right-click that and make sure you've set it to mic 
comma USB. Another place you've got to be sure you've got that mic set right is when you click here, uh, you want to be sure that this isn't mic or ACC. This has to be USB or you're not going to modulate uh, his, the radio that you're talking to. So let me try transmitting here, testing one, two, three, four, and as you can see on the spectrum scope, which I'll bring up, uh, I'm transmitting, and Rich mentioned earlier that I want to be in uh, wide. So right now I'm transmitting audio, and there's not much close to the carrier, and I'm not sure why that is. So let me take a look at TBW, the base. Well, under the transmit, now turn down your volume. Hey. I don't know why he's doing this. Yeah, we can't have the feedback. I'm using earphones, Rich, so that I, this doesn't happen. Okay, so here we are. Now, why don't you transmit something and let's see if we can hear you okay. This is a test. WZ2D remotely with W6FCC. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The okay, so I'm talking to Rich on the phone still. Now we want to record something that Rich says. So we go over here to this uh, record business. I don't know that they're still on the screen. No, they're not. Okay, so let me bring up the record button here from the. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. That spectrum scope. I go over here to. Here, here's what I'm looking for. So when Rich transmits, I'm going to click on the record. So we're in the middle of a QSO. Let me stick this over here for a second. Uh, Hi Jeff, this is Steve. You're right. Oh, just a second here. Let me pause the recording. So here I'm going to send a message to Rich. I'm going to turn the volume down on this speakerphone. Okay. All right, Rich, I'm uh, transmitting to you. I wonder if you're hearing me okay, and uh, you can come back and respond. Excellent receive. No problem at all. This is a test from WZ to the upstate New York. Back to Jeff, W6, FCC, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so I just recorded that, and I'm going to go over here now to the playback section. And uh, now up here, I'm going to open, I want to send a file, so I click on File, and then I say Open. Remember that address we had up here, I'm going to stick that in now because this, this is the 1212, but I want the current one. And there's the audio I just recorded from Rich, so I'm going to open that and I'm now ready to play it. So I'm going to go back to Mike for a second here. Uh, oh, I'm already, I'm still in transmit mode. Okay, Rich, I presume you can hear me now. Let me look at the scope. So I'm now going to go and transmit that audio that I just recorded from you. Go down here to file and here it goes. I'm going to do the file. Play it. As you can see, it's going out to Rich. Then I go back to the record thing and I, I change this back to mic. And now Rich can see me because I flipped it from the recorder uh, back to the microphone. And now we're, you've heard your audio and uh, how did it sound? Okay, so we're carrying on a cue, so I'll put the phone behind me. In fact, I think I'm going to hang up the phone right now, just so we don't have this dual audio again. Okay, now I'm off the phone with Rich. I just hung up on him. <laughs> so here's here's my audio going out. Um, I can turn off that spectrum analyzer for a second. Uh, there is the uh, 
the fact that I'm transmitting with my microphone. Now, interesting enough, just remember remember this this caveat that if you're using the uh, the microphone and you un let me turn this off too. I don't need these memory channels anymore. So I have a lot of things on the screen, but as you can see here, the default device is mic. And uh, now, if I change that default device back to uh, the audio, this way there's going to be no modulation at all over here as you can see and I go back to mic now we're modulating again and then what's the purpose of V audio real briefly I'll just show you what happens when we use V audio you come up here to voice and uh, if we transmit this 59 New York thank you 59 New York November Yankee uh, one of the things that happens is that this flips from mic Flips. Let me just transmit that again. Oops. Thank you. Five nine New York November Yankee. Well, it it sometimes flips over here to V audio because that's where this audio is coming from. Anyway, I think we've done enough. Let me get right out of here and uh, get off the transmit. And so I think we're done, Rich. What do you think? Everything sounded good on my end, Jeff. I made a couple of adjustments on the uh, receive filters just to uh, play with the treble in the bass, but everything sounded really good, and I just turned on the attenuator. I didn't have it on before, but um, I'm happy with it, if you are. Yeah, no, that works good. I've turned on, I don't have any uh, preamp. I have the attenuator turned on. I've turned the mic gain down well below uh, mid-scale. So, Rich, thanks. This is a Jeff and Rich uh, showing how you can record and playback audio with RSBA1 and maybe some people will try it and uh, have some fun with it. 73 everybody and have a good holiday.